All right, let's try another one here. This one is from uh, chapter 39, uh, number, number, what was this? Uh, oh, 19. Oh, and so number 19 was the, the question. Okay, um, let's give this one a shot here. <clears throat> and uh, if I read the problem here, it talks about two uh, people. We have uh, Suzanne and Mark. They're each observing an event. And uh, hopefully what you got out of the reading here is that if uh, time, or excuse me, if the speed of light is going to be the same for all observers, even if something is moving or not, then other weird things have to happen, like the uh, lengths can't be the same and simultaneity is uh, changed. And that's what this one is is all about here. In fact, it's under the, the section of uh, Lorenz transformation, and that's what uh, this piece is here. Let me bring the, the book over here. But it but here's what it's, it's saying is that if you take then um, this distance between two things and the time between those two things, uh, somebody else in a different moving frame, moving at some velocity v, uh, would then pick up this. And that's what we're, we're after here. And so I'm going to use this uh, Lorenz uh, transformation here because as I read the problem, it says that uh, Susanna, Suzanne, excuse me, um, oh, and you know what, I should probably write down the equation here. Okay, so this says the uh, delta x, so the distance between something that's moving. So let's call the prime as observed from uh, Mark, okay? So this is how far the two events are from Mark is equal to this factor gamma. And then multiply by how far apart are they from Suzanne. And then what is the time difference for... Uh, Suzanne. Uh, the other part of this is the delta T uh, prime. Uh, that's the gamma. And then it would be the delta T minus V over V squared delta X. So as I, I flip back to the reading here, it says uh, Suzanne observes two uh, light pulses to be emitted at the same uh, location. So the unprimed system representing what, uh, I'll let this represent what uh, Suzanne's going to see, uh, they just told me that that is a zero. There is, these two things are happening at the, at the, the same uh, location. So Suzanne observes two light pulses to be emitted from the same location. But they are separated in time by three microseconds. So this would be three uh, microseconds. And so three microseconds. Mm -mm. And so, I don't know, maybe it's sort of like, you know, two things are moving by, kind of like my two fingertips here, and then this flashes here. And then this one flashes here. So they flash at the same location, just slightly different in time, uh, three microseconds. At least that's how Suzanne sees it. But the whole point of here is another observer moving along, and this will be Mark, uh, may not see it quite the same way. And it says here that Mark observes that the emission of the same two pulses to be separated in time by nine microseconds and so separated in time so right there nine uh, microseconds and so that's what mark is going to see so i'll use the prime system here and so this is how much distance in space so mark is probably going to be saying that they are not occurring at the same spot they're different in time and so they would look more like to mark like okay flash, and then a little later, flash. And so there's a separation between those two, two flashes. And so part A of this just uh, simply says, 
how fast is Mark moving? And if we look at this equation here, uh, that's set up perfect for A because we know that, so hang on here. I just realized, there we go, that my editing processor just got done and started talking. All right, so um, back to this one here. So this is 9 times 10 to the minus 6. And then this would be gamma. And then this would be 3 times 10 to the minus 6. And then this, of course, would be a, a 0. And so we can solve for gamma. And gamma has then the, the, the speed in it. Uh, so let me just cancel off the 10 to the minus 6 and move this over to over to the other side. So we get a 3, and we're saying gamma then is equal to 3. And gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So there's the v we'd like to solve for. So squaring both sides, I get a 9 equals 1 over, and I get 1 minus v squared over c squared. And maybe doing a little cross multiplication. This would be a 9. This would be minus a 9 over v squared, uh, c squared. And then all that would equal to 1. Uh, rearranging this, this becomes 9 minus 1, 9 over v squared over c squared. Uh, that then is equal to an 8. Uh, then bring the 9 to the other side. And we've got a v squared over c squared is equal to 8 over 9, or v over c is the square root of 8 over 9, or if we wanted to simplify it, we might say root 8 over 3, and in fact, that could even be simplified because 8 is 4 times 2, so this is 2 root 2 over 3, and so the velocity is 2 root 2 over 3 times c, and maybe changing that into a fraction that would have 2 times the square root of 2 in the numerator and divide that by 3 and so that is point nine four, and I'll round it to a 3 times the speed of light. So there's the, the first part of it, how fast are the two moving relative to each other. In this case, we'll call it how far is Mark moving relative to Suzanne. And then the second part of B, I think, comes back to this equation here. Uh, let's see what it says. It says, according to Mark, uh, what is the separation in space? Yeah, so we're trying to find that. All right, so let's find this delta x prime. And so the first is gamma, and earlier on we said gamma was a 3, so I'll use that. And, of course, earlier on we also said the spacing between them as viewed by Suzanne is 0. Uh, minus, and then the velocity, looks like we have a point nine four three c And the spacing... And the time difference, or I shouldn't call it spacing, is this. And so grabbing my calculator here, I already have that number, I guess, in my uh, calculator. So I'll just go times, and C is 3 times 10 to the 8th, and then times a 3 times 10 to the negative 6th and then times the gamma factor of 3 uh, comes out to be, what is that, 2,545 meters. I should check my units here. Time is in seconds, meters per second, yeah. And so, two point, well, 2,000, about 2,500 uh, meters. Okay.